Hello everyone and welcome to my Overwatch map overview of Rialto, the new map that's available through Overwatch. It is the the game mode that was... Oh, let me make sure I have it started for sure, for sure. Show the lobby. Start game mode. Yep, for sure it is starting. Excellent. Alright, now that we've got it started, let me go ahead and... Normally I would pick Farah, but this time I think I'm going to pick Widowmaker. I think her uh, seasonally appropriate attire is going to fit in just fine. This is the map that was the Retribution event map. However, this time it's kind of in reverse. In, in fact, it is in reverse if you want to look at it that way. And it's a payload escort. So it comes complete with all of its pitfalls and perils and highlights and highlight reels. Uh, it's, it can be quite entertaining. So what I'm going to do here is showcase some of what I think are uh, some of the better, more advantageous things that you can see. And I hope that you find it informative. If not, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know that I'm a noob. But as you can see, here we are starting inside the middle section. The reason I started with the uh, offense is because we're going to let the payload kind of move through town Enough as we kind of take a look home. around. So out this back door would have <laughs> been the terrace with the cafe and the dock and the extraction point. And I guess all of this artwork was in here before, but I didn't really notice it before. Maybe this will help. All right, now that we have our UI turned off and we're getting ready, I wanted that on to see how much time I had. But, you know, 30 seconds from now, the door's going to open. Great, no problem. Uh, is there anything to really shoot at out in here? Well, maybe, maybe not. But, uh, you know, you can get your, you can get your aiming and you get your aiming practice in all right so out this door as you know is the uh wall that you would take the heavy out there around or try to keep him around as you were going for that particular Five, conquest four, and up three, and out this way two, is a door that one. i don't believe was available i think it was kind of blocked off here the staircase might have been here but the door is blocked off you would come out and come around the corner and get onto the payload and I'm what you'll discover right away is that there's a bridge here right and many people are going to be setting up up here and up there and back in, and back in there to try to get a nice peek at you here and you will not be surprised if you watch this video ladies and gentlemen for a lucio to perhaps boop you or a Farah or an orissa right all types of things like that could happen but let me show you an interesting little flank off of this beautiful beautiful map by the way uh lucio can ride on lots of these walls over here now so be mindful of where the invisible wall is, but he can do that. There's this interesting flank here if you want to kind of get down this long hallway, down into that alley there, or if you want to look up there. Uh, you got the large health pack here, right? So this is a good spot for you to kind of take and then move forward from, right, if you want to go that way. I have, with success, taken Farah and Lucio around the corner here and come over here and look at the gondolas. Yes, I'll give you a little gondola tour later. And snuck up here... Whoops, overshot. <laughs> Snuck into this blue building here, excuse me. We'll get to that little section later. Snuck into this blue building here and come up here and gotten behind somebody, you know, who was uh, trying to get a nice long look down this line, which isn't actually that great of a line defensively. You should be holding slightly back there, I would think. But, you know, what do I know? Let me go ahead and advance this a little bit. So that would be a left flank. There's right through the middle here, and you can have some interesting angles such like this. Again, that large health pack is there in the Le Fume de Vino. Il Le Fume. I don't know. That's not my primary language. But uh, I'm going to hang in there and do it anyways. Uh, you know what? Let me get around the map a little better here. Bam. Alright, so you can come out the high ground from the right-hand side and kind of have a nice little perspective on those guys. Or, whoop, you can come down and through here. And this, be careful of this little section here. People will walk off of this all the time. I could probably get onto that boat, but I definitely know you cannot get onto those little platforms. I'll show you later. But this gives you a nice little long line back on their back line, especially if they're holding up in those forward advanced places. I think that's a little silly. I think actually this is probably the best place to kind of hold them because they're moving the payload through this choke and there's that choke, and it's difficult to get around to back here. And here is once they advance the payload, to this spot this will become the new spawn room right so it'll have you'll come out this is the fast way out if you need to race back but I'll show you that this needs to be uh, you need to be wise about coming out and going up the right hand side to get up into that high ground section I would say again all right so that's a nice little left flank that's an, uh, we showed you the left flank and then I showed you the right flank out let me go ahead and sit on the payload here for a few minutes uh, while we take a look around this beautiful beautiful environment again this looks amazing right I like the bright 
open air kind of middle of the day maps. I would like Ayutthaya if it was middle of the day, I think. And I think I would like Ayutthaya if it was middle of the night. I really don't like dusk maps, though. But this, this is, this is really pretty. This looks really good. I really like this. All right, so as I was saying before, there's a large health pack back there in that little meadow section. If you advance along the left flank too far, you can get to there. And from there, there's a staircase up that leads up into this section here. You see the small health pack there. There's a large health pack inside the fishery, right? And let me get the payload there just so it opens up that door at least. And then I'll scooch it out. And this, this bridge, man, very much like, uh, you know, old World War combat. Going through this town is going to be like going through and securing uh, objectives and bridges, you know. So here's that large health pack if you take that left flank. From here, you can have some interesting sight lines because it will be a bit of a battle. That building, the opera house there, oh, that is very difficult to secure and hold as you come through and make the giant U-turn through the next section. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's just going to be difficult. I'll show you here in a second. That green awning, you take this green awning path up here, up into there, and then you can go across and get into the opera house. So that's one way. Or to advance the opera house, you see that staircase. I'll give you a better look later. You can get up and in that way. The payload is stopped at our original spot. Huzzah. Let me go back and wham. Uh-oh. Go ahead and blow no that. Why not? So this is the new spawn sight. once you've secured that. That's the quick way out. This would seem like a slower way out, but you kind of, again, with the nice views everywhere, you kind of got to get over here and secure your position and look down on them, you know, from the high ground, right? So that's, you know, what you got to kind of do. And I said before that there's a large health pack down in the fish shop, and there is the fish shop, right? Boom. There's some veggies there. There's some beautiful yellowfin tuna there. I've seen turrets set up here by Torbjorns. You cannot jump onto that there. Do not even try. It will get you. I haven't uh, wall ridden underneath the lower levels, but I'm pretty sure if you fall off the boat, you're going to fall off. All right. So that is the first checkpoint, Checkpoint Alpha. And as you advance towards Checkpoint Bravo, you need to go uh, over this bridge, as I said, and contest with everyone who is going to be shooting from there. Or even in there, there's a small health pack in there, but there's a large health pack over here in the Karasini. Wait, no, is it a small health pack? I apologize. But this is the first defensive spawn. Comes back in here. You can go up into the upper house or up into here and, you know, maybe pick out a nice dress for your Widowmaker. How long would it take for this dress to be made? Maybe get some shoes. <laughs> a nice hat, you know, and get your get your groove on. Your Actually, you know what? I'm going to whoop, come on down here and take a little tour of the canals below. As you can see, you can actually use them for targeting and shooting. All right, if you need to get somebody from down low without them, boom, knowing about it. You can shoot these guys. I wouldn't recommend it. It's more for the ambiance because I think that's where the music comes from. Hmm. Do I have a nice emote set up right now? Let them eat cake. Well, that's my that's my vocal response. Look at that. Repairs are ongoing, but it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Cannot go there. Don't even try. What have I got equipped? The bow. All right. Well, hold on. Maybe I have. Let me turn my UI on again real fast. Do I have? Yeah, I do. Cheers. Now we're gonna take a nice leisurely canal ride through Rialto. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? This is a great little map, and this is fun little stuff. I like taking rides on uh, Blizzard World, too. I guess they really expanded on it here to make sure that it really turned out amazing. I have to get onto the payload and stay on the payload, and that's going to be just fine by me. Again, this back route. Oh, 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 inactivity, huh? Oh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult now. Bam. On the payload. Stay on the payload as I continue to talk to about other things. Um, there is, well, I have 60 seconds, so that wall there, this is the high ground through the opera house. This is how you would get through it. You and I know, if you see this, you know you can jump over it, uh, and you know whether or not you can or you can't. That door there is the path up they take. If you remember from the retribution map, it was blocked off, but now it is open. There's a lot of new rebuild stuff. Uh, this path that we're about to go down was actually blocked off, like a giant wall was there, like the street was closed. Right? You will have people in here with the small health box. That is the way out from the spawn. Sometimes I've seen Torb turrets set up on that stair, and the green awning and the angle of the stair gives it a nice little defensive position. 
This is a nice little pass-through hold because it shoots off on both sides and also gives you access to the Opera House. Again, small health pack. There's a, as you can see, a wall now out by the docks. And you should know that back behind that wall on the left-hand side is a large health pack. And once this payload hits that spawn, or checkpoint Bravo over there, the spawn will be back over here. All right, so once I get this to checkpoint Bravo, I will shoot over there and show you the large health pack. Be cautious over there. As you can see, there's a lot of open water space. You can get booped off quite easily. Oh, uh, bam. Oh, I didn't hit my jump right. I'm such a noob. Okay, so there's a large health pack. These boats, you can run across all of them. So that makes it a little bit easier. There's a small health pack over here in the corner. Don't know why you would want to fight over here too much. It's very dangerous. It is the nice route up to the quick high ground there. You can also take the standard route from the uh, through the library. Excuse me. See, this is that way over we talked about earlier. If you know, if you saw it, you see it, and you know whether or not you can get over this. You know whether or not you can get over this. You know, high ground, library, high ground to the top, and I believe this is new, a pass through to the upper section. I used that as 76 the other day to get a really nice quad. All right, so once you get this point, this is kind of a choke that you can fight back from over here. There's a that corner is actually a pretty good fight back point, and this. Just before that is a good fight back point. Widows can set up here. Miscellaneous. At the end of this hallway is another large health pack. As you can see, if you did the retribution event, the doors are now open. You can see all the way through there. This is the path from the library. It came up through there. You can get in to what uh, I'm calling um, a Greek temple. And it, uh, I don't know. It's. I, it feels more... Is that the word I'm looking for? This feels very temple-ish to me. Right? So that's where the payload's going to go. Large health pack back there. These hallways here. Small health pack there. So if you're going to hold back from over there, you need to hold back from over there. There are some things you need to know about, though. I know I've got 30 seconds, so I'm going to try to race around to do it. This down here is like a little pass-through section to the other side. Right? And inside here, the payload stops before the end. Up until now, it had to get into a little yellow box, but as you can see, now it only has to get to, like, right here. Right? Get up there. I said emote already. It won't emote. Oh, well. So, be mindful of that as you're doing it, and be cautious not to, like, think that you're holding it for the last second, and it's not really the last second. It's really the last second too late. <laughs> be mindful of that. Look at this awesome play of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Don't jump there. Don't forget. Don't jump there. That's right. Oh, so maybe it does consider whether or not you have emoted in your play of the game footage. Very interesting. Very interesting. My friends, I hope you've enjoyed my Overwatch map overview of Rialto and my little guided tour of it and some of the things I think may or may not be helpful or successful for you. And if you have, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please do consider subscribing for more content just like this. If you can't wait that long, YouTube has hand-selected a video for you on your left. And on the lower left, I have compiled a list of all of my Nubernaut moments on Overwatch. Enjoy! Until next time, bye-bye!